Welcome to another edition of Conversation with the Leader. Today we are sitting with Arthur Goldstack, the MD of Worldwide Works and ICT Research Firm. Today we are talking about tablet technology, the way it has taken over the country and how it's impacting on the business today. Uh, we just want to discuss the emergence of the tablet uh, technology in the country. To start with, uh, maybe if you can tell us uh, briefly what is tablet technology and what has it done in the country at the moment. A tablet computer is like a computer but without a keyboard and without many moving parts and most of the device is just a screen. So clearly it has to be a touch screen and because it's a touch screen it has to be very easy to use and the first tablets were in fact incredibly easy to use and created that massive appeal that immediately emerged for tablets and resulted in almost every computer manufacturer in the world deciding to introduce a tablet computer of their own. So right now we have more than a dozen major tablet brands uh, internationally and more than a hundred tiny unknown, no-name brand type tablets. And in terms of uh, adoption, uh, adoption in South Africa, how is the uptake of tablet technology by the corporate South Africa? The uptake of tablets in South Africa has been constrained by the initial supply because the first tablet computer on the market, the iPad, wasn't available in South Africa for the first eight months after its launch. But during that time, there was quite strong take up through grey markets, through unofficial sources. So probably more than 10,000 iPad ones were brought into South Africa unofficially. And then it was launched in January 2011 officially and it flew out of the stores, even though people knew that the iPad 2 was on its way. So with the iPad 2, South Africa was one of the first countries outside of the United States to start distributing. And it seemed that Apple learned their lesson, that this is an important market for them. So the tablet market is between around uh, 70 and 80,000 in this market. It's still very small, but it's making a major impact on the retail sector. What's your view about the mobile space right now in the country, South Africa? The mobile technology as a whole, in general? The mobile space is very exciting right now because we're in the midst of an explosion in smartphone usage. And uh, everyone in the industry is pointing towards smartphones overtaking normal phones or what they call feature phones by 2013. And we're very well on track for that. And we might even beat that 2013 mark. It might even happen during 2012. So that explosion in smartphone usage is also going to re result in an explosion in usage of apps on smartphones. The crossover between smartphones and tablets, for example, are going to be an interesting area to watch. But in terms of what most of Africans will be using, it will be a smartphone. And in terms of the development, how does the consumer benefit from what is happening on the mobile space in the country? The consumer benefits enormously from the massive growth in smartphone uptake by paying a lot less, the prices are coming down fast, cheaper handsets are coming onto the market that provide the full functionality of a smartphone and that puts the most useful apps into the hands of the mass market as well. Although what we'll see in the early phases is mostly social networking data. So for example Facebook and Blackberry Messenger and uh, applications uh, like Twitter for example on the smartphone are going to be hugely popular and that's going to give people who've never had access to public discourse before that kind of access. Whether simply as observers or as an audience or as participants in that discourse. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again next week when we have another conversation with another leader. Thank you.